Good morning. I'm so excited. We are home and with my parents. We're actually in a little town called Forest City and it's like my mom's favorite little place and I have never been so I'm so excited. We're going to go get breakfast at a little soda shop and then we're going to get pastries and coffee and then go to pick apples. I cannot wait. Today's going to be the most perfect fall day and we got the most perfect weather. It is so nice like 60 degrees and sunshine so it even feels like fall. My heart is so happy. Food was so good that I forgot <laughs> to show you guys. I got a bacon and cheddar scone delicious. One of the best chocolate chip cookies I've ever had. Funky got a Greek quiche. quiche. He said it's Very delicious. Good. Your coffee, what is it? A butter pecan chai tea. And he said it was the best he's ever had. It's probably the best chai tea latte I've ever had. I got a white chocolate ice latte, so good. Mom, tell us what this is called. Mm. Peanut butter caramel pie. Delicious, and Dad, what'd you get? Well, this this was the quiche, the three cheese quiche <laughs> with caramelized onions. It was pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> you think? What's this one? That's uh, apple strudel muffin. Mmm, that sounds yeah. good. So this place is a ten out of ten. Okay, so we got our apples at Granddad's. We had so much fun. It was so beautiful up there. And mom knew about this winery that her and my sister are actually gonna do a wedding here. We do the flowers for the wedding in a couple of weeks. And mom was like, do you wanna go to the winery? So it is amazing, like it overlooks a mountain. So we're gonna go up here and hang out for a little bit. Okay, so we are actually home now and it has been over a week since we went to pick apples with my parents. We have been busy bunkies over here. We had Hurricane Ian last weekend and we are so thankful for all of your prayers and just everyone checking in on us. We are so grateful that it was not worse than it was.
kind of a scary day. We lost power for a little bit. Lots of like tree limbs down and debris. But other than that, we were safe and sound. We are so, so grateful. I know so many people were not and we are still praying for everyone in Florida and just everyone that was affected by Hurricane Ian. But that is where we were last weekend. And then I have a very, very special surprise i'm going to tell you guys at the end of this video that we've also been working on behind the scenes it's just taking up like a lot of time but so 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 exciting i cannot wait to share it with you guys so i will share that here in a little bit but first we're gonna make some dinner we have made this i want to say one or two times here on our channel and it is still one of my favorite recipes we haven't made it in a long time and i was like oh i am craving that so we're gonna go ahead and get started on some dinner i don't really remember what we call this but kind of like a taco cheesy casserole goodness so all you need is some hamburger meat I said hamburger, Funky. Yeah, you did. <laughs> but we're not making hamburgers. We're not making hamburgers. Some ground beef. You'll need some taco seasoning, sour cream, and then Velveeta. You guys probably remember this recipe. It is so good. Also, very random, but I wanted to sh show you this. Um, I went to Sam's Club yesterday, and I have seen Kinders share this seasoning a couple of times. I have been looking for it, and I finally found it. Cracked pepper parmesan. Does that not sound so good? So... I will report back and let you know what I think, but on veggies, like roasted broccoli, zucchini, french fries, mashed potatoes, does this not sound so good? I can't wait to try it. Yeah, I was about to ask what you would, uh, what you envision using that for. Oh, I want to make some roasted broccoli ASAP and put that on there. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're going to make zucchini tomorrow. Oh, yeah. I'll try it on that in the morning, or yeah. for lunchtime. But we're going to go ahead and just get our ground beef cooked. We're going to basically make our taco meat just like normal well I had an idea tell me um I was thinking okay that we could put to just give this a little bit more oomph to it okay because <laughs> I think we have a can of refried beans bonky bottom, oh wait bottom layer beans no this is hilarious there's supposed to be beans in here oh yeah it, I forgot there, the beans <laughs> I thought I had an original idea. But, Bonky, I am so glad you said that. Normally, you mix them in, but I think what if we just put layer of beans, okay. the, the, the meat mixture, and then the cheese on top. I mean, it will be more like a, a real dip at that point, but I yeah. think it'll be really good. Bonky, I am so glad you said that because I literally... <laughs> and I forgot to, them. Furthermore... <laughs> I have a couple of jalapenos left over that I think I'm going to put on my side. Okay, yeah, that sounds great. Okay, I forgot last time that I remembered I wanted a little bit of a kick in there. So I'm going to add a few dashes of hot sauce to this and stir it up. And then we'll layer this with our Velveeta and Bunky's jalapenos. Oh, yeah. I'm dying laughing. What? It'd be real spicy. I, that's what I was just thinking. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, like I'm about to have hot sauce. How about you dash some hot sauce on once your side? No, no, no. Once it's cooked, I'll, um, you add, your I'll add my hot sauce. <laughs> I haven't even preheated the oven yet. Oh no. Okay. Preheat oven to 375. Hey now. You're doing it? I sliced that cheese. I'm gonna place that cheese. <laughs> I'm actually just curious to see if I got like a full did I count the number of slices, you know, right? Did you count this out? Like you measured? Well, I was trying because we want like full coverage, right? Yeah, but this will like expand a little bit, you know. Okay, so we're going to slide you over just a smidge. You did pretty good, Bonk. Would you look? We even have a little bit left we can kind of put on the center. Would you look at that? Well. We should close the oven. We should close the oven. For preheating. Since we did not let our oven preheat, we'll let it come to temperature. <laughs> and then we'll just stick this in for like 15 minutes and dinner will be ready. Oh, your jalapenos. Yeah. I keep forgetting them. Yeah. Look at those jalapenos. I know, but they look good. Oh! You made a heart? That's for you, girl. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Bunky, that is so sweet. Yeah, I was playing, you know, I had a little time. You're hilarious. Do you hands. want these above your cheese or under? 
I want them. I want them on top on mine. Yeah. Okay. Well, you go ahead. And I left them rather um, substantial because I think they're going to kind of like cook down in the oven a little bit. Okay. You know what else I want? These things to, are huge, bump. You know what else I want to tell everybody? What? As I've gotten older, the spicy foods are really starting <laughs> to affect me differently. <laughs> you know. You've been getting bad heartburn. Well, I arranged them in the shape of a heart to symbolize the the pain that I may have experienced. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. You are crazy. But it is true that the um, impact of eating these foods. It is, is. I'm really starting to feel it these days. I know, Bunky. I've been getting bad heartburn too. Okay, I just put it in at 375. And it's just going to be in there for like 15 minutes. I might pop it under the broiler for a minute to get that cheese nice and melted, but that's it okay so i am finally going to share my surprise with you guys i'm so 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 excited if you follow me on instagram then you already know this but i have been asked for the longest time to come out with merch and i finally am coming out with merch now it's not a cookbook i know so many of you guys want a cookbook and sweatshirts and all of that it is to come lots of things in the works for next year but for right now we are doing a coffee mug and y'all it is so 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 cute i came up with the design all by myself well bunky helped a little bit i did I he gave a, me some good input i had a hand in it <laughs> but we like designed this and it is so cute and so perfect um this has been such a joy to just work on and come up with and i cannot wait for you guys to get your hands on it i cannot wait to have a little part of us in your home and to just have something that is special for our community that we can share together so this is what it looks like so it says y'all and then all around it are all of my favorite things about fall the a is a piece of pumpkin pie there's also an apple pie on there football boots sweater beanie a whisk cupcakes coffee mug all of the best things that make fall so special and i cannot wait for you to get your hands on it let me just tell you monkey and i have never done anything like this before this is from literally our hearts we are learning as we go we are packaging every single order by hand just me and b so bear with us as we like learn through this there is also going to be a christmas coffee mug and it is going to be just as cute so here's the deal we have ordered several hundred of these they are going to go live on friday so when you're seeing this it will be tomorrow october 7th at 10 a.m eastern standard time i will leave a link in the description box of this video that you will click just be there waiting at 10 a.m if you want to purchase one now if they sell out quickly and you do not get your hands on one don't worry because like i said there's going to be a christmas mug coming right around the corner but be there tomorrow 10 a.m I'm so excited. I cannot wait. I hope you guys love it as much as I've had. Just so much fun creating this and bringing all of these big dreams to life. I could not do it without you guys. You are the whole reason that I even get to like have my dreams come true. And from the bottom of our hearts, thank you so incredibly much. I cannot wait to hear from you guys. See you drinking out of your coffee mug. Take pictures, tap us in it, all the things. I love you. I'm so, so, so excited. It's so cute. I just love the design of it. I literally thought of this design in the middle of the night. And Bunky will tell you, I rolled over and he was like, what are you doing? I'm like on my phone typing away because I did not want to forget it for the next day. And... I just think it's so cute. Oh, I forgot to tell you, of course, there is a little camper on there. We have a little RV because you can't have fall without fall camping. It's just like all my favorite things. I'm so excited. First edition. First edition. First edition. And just as we go, we're gonna learn. They're gonna get better and better and just like even more things besides the coffee mug to come. Oh, I cannot wait. Yeah. It's I been a really cool process, hasn't it? I don't think you told the whole truth about the, the design of this logo. <laughs> I was a major part. You helped me come up with some good ideas. Mm -hmm. But the concept was definitely my idea. Conceptually, all you. Design, placement, partially me. You know how Bunky is like so precise and like particular and he likes everything to be perfect? He like would not let it go until he felt like everything was in its perfect place. <laughs> Yeah. Which I so appreciate. Y'all, we forgot how good this is. Like, <laughs> we cannot 
get over it. It is so creamy and cheesy. It got like a little bit of this little crust from the broiler. I put it under the broiler for just like one minute. It is scrumptious. We're just like over here eating it with scoops. I mean, just look at this. Straight into it. Oh my gosh. It's delicious. Like this is such an easy weeknight dinner recipe. If you're in a hurry, make this. Yeah. It's good. And don't think it's not a meal. Cause it is like, mm -hmm. it is hearty, mm -hmm. delicious. You got beans, beef, cheese, vegetables. It's so good. There's only one vegetable involved. <laughs> I will say though, I, I was saying at first, like do a, the layer of beans on the bottom. Don't do that. No, make sure mix them in there because that whole little ground beef bean sour cream concoction is just mouth watering. It's a dream. It's a dream. It's a dream. It's it's more than a dream. <laughs> Let me think of what it is. Actually. Okay. I don't know. It's goodness, y'all. It's goodness. This is goodness you have to try it okay that is going to do it for this video i love you guys so very much thank you for hanging out with us i'm sorry i haven't had as many videos lately but i promise we're going to get back on it don't forget to subscribe if you're new give this one a thumbs up don't forget to be there tomorrow on friday october 7th 10 a.m i'll have the link down below i'm so excited i'll see you then love you bye y'all that jalapeno has given bunky the hiccups heartburn your eyes are watering that's when you know you're eating something good. Yes.